we're in Unreal and I have brought in created a new scene and I've brought in my grass clump large um, we're importing something like this then you just need to make sure that you have import normals tangents on uh, because you want to bring in the ones that you made uh, where they will put their pointed up and uh, just that you can leave so if we bring that in and drop it in you can't really tell anything at the moment if I double click on this look at this clump go to normals you can see that they're all basically stick it up which is good, that's what we want ok, I've also brought in these uh, which is the mask we made and the normal, the normal map so we use that to build the shader I'm planning basic grass material to the surface you can try and let this grass sit on top of this grass hopefully will be so dense anyway that you won't really see the underneath but it's just to give us a guide uh, to fit this to so the thing we'll have to do is make a start making a texture start making a material so let's make a new material. We'll call this class master. So I'm just going to load in. So the grass mask we've brought in, I'm just going to double check. It's, it's a mask, I doubt it will be. No, it won't be. So we need to set this to a mask save and that'll basically make it linear so srgb switched off and our normal map will be fine so I'll drag both of those into there and Bit of space, I think. So let's and we're going to plug in an alpha. Put in the wrong one. So put it into a opacity mask instead of opacity and that means we need to set this to masked and we want it to be two sided and we need to start sorting out the grass colour so We need to create a lerp in the first instance, and we can plug our red channel into that if we remember what they look like. So let's switch it all off. That's our red channel, which is the gradient. Green channel is the variant. Blue channel is the ambient occlusion. So. If we use that as a starting point, three vector constants to represent the two colours. We remember that A is black in the mask and B is white in the mask. So let's in fact, 
let's call this convert this to a parameter right now and we'll call this base color we'll give it a group of call it Our first pass, we're using our gradient to create essentially grass. If we chuck our blue into the ambient occlusion, let's add. that gradient and multiply it with that variation of dark this color and this color so what we're doing there is we have our two colors our base color and our base tint and we have we've added the ambient occlusion and the gradient together but then to try and boost the darker areas from the gradient I've multiplied them together because uh, that just brightens everything and then I've added a power node which is essentially contrast and I've added an exponent which controls the, the level of contrast so that's with none and we set this to 2 and it basically makes it more contrasty and by making it more contrasty alert that basically means that more of the green comes through um, so I'll set, I'll make that a parameter as well, and I'll call that face uh, contrast, and I'll put that in the same place. Under grass color, and 
Okay, so we've got some grass. So if I hit apply, and we take our material, our, find our grass. Apply material to it. You see, the grass doesn't, there's a lot wrong with this grass, but at least it's starting to. Now one of the things we will need to do with this is because I haven't done it already is we'll need a second UV set uh, which we sh really should set up in max but we can set a quick one up in here, a dirty one and I'm sure it'll be fine so if we go to, because we're looking here we've only got one set of UVs which is basically these being tiled over the top of each other which we really don't want so um, let's go to Generate unique UVs. We'll use UV channel one. Create new. Hit apply. And now, if we go to UV channel one, everything's laid out from zero to one. So that should be fine. Hit save. That's a good job. Well done. So now, when we render this, it should be sort of okay. So the next thing to do is to create the variant, uh, which is the one we use in the green channel. So if we look in here, the green channel has white and grey um, blades of grass that are meant to be a different colour from the others, and we can control that. So the way we're going to do that is, this is going to go fit into the albedo as well. So if I create a multiply node so in here and a three vector constant, we'll give it a crazy colour so we can see what it's doing. And plug the green. So we multiply this colour by that. So all the bits that are so if we see the result of that, it should look like this. So we've got light ones and less light ones. And then what we do with that is we add that to what we've already got. So we've got something like that. Add that to our shader, and we end up with variants, which obviously you don't want to be pink. Make this a parameter, and call this base uh, uh, tint. So I'll just set this to something a bit more rational colour-wise. There we go. 